Tiburcio Garcia was born in El Paso, Texas on February 11, 1954 to Beatriz and Gilbert Garcia, first generation Americans. Times were rough and in March of 1959, with $5 in her pockets and a pair of red shoes dyed black so she could hopefully get work, Beatriz moved her four children to Los Angeles, California. In November of 1962, they moved a few miles south to settle in Norwalk, California. Tiburcio attended Patterson Elementary, where he was moved from third grade to fourth grade because the third grade classes were too crowded. It was during this magical period of the early to mid 60s when Turbo would discover one of his true lifelong passions, the recently relocated from Brooklyn, Los Angeles Dodgers. His first heroes had names like Koufax, Drysdale, and Wills. And with two World Series championships in three years, Turbo would bleed Dodger blue for the rest of his life. While attending Santa Fe High School in Santa Fe Springs, Tiburcio would work four hours every night and weekends to help make ends meet for his family. He joined the Teamsters Garment Workers Union at age 15. Mathematics were still a huge obstacle, so the challenges during this crucial period of his life were numerous. But Turbo persevered, and greatly inspired by his new heroes, John Kennedy and Martin Luther King, Tiburcio Garcia would graduate from high school in August of 1971. Turbo joined the Army in 1972 and, thankfully, found a desk job. Despite rising to the rank of specialist fifth class and spending 30 months in Germany, Turbo took advantage of the GI Bill and went on to college, where he became the first Garcia to receive a college degree from Cal State Fullerton with a BA in History and Social Science. It was during these years of the early 80s when the teaching bug took hold of Turbo and he would discover the world of school activities. He would spend most of his career, 29 years, teaching history, government, economy, and philosophy at Sunny Hills High School, and 27 of these years were also devoted to being an activities director, teaching his passion of leadership. Turbo was literally the king of both proms and homecomings, having overseen over 25 of each. Also, 27 years as intramurals coordinator, 21 years as coordinator for Red Ribbon Week, and many more activities and honors. Through these three decades, he would go on to receive many awards, including the Sunny Hills Teacher of the Year Award. However, his greatest award was the reward of working and influencing thousands of his students. Yes, the lessons I teach in U.S. history are extremely important, but the, but the values, the opportunities, the experiences, the skills that we teach as activity advisors are priceless. It was 1985 when Tiburcio Garcia discovered CATA, and it soon became his second family. He quickly became one of the leaders of Area F. Sprinkle kindness, joy, love, and happiness everywhere we go. CATA has had a profound influence on Turbo's career, and without a doubt, Turbo has had a profound impact on CATA. Congratulations. Fueling the quest to positively impact today's future leaders. My dreams have been fulfilled through CATA because it's given me a, more of a reach than I ever would have imagined. And it's allowed me to bring those ideas back to my campuses, back to my community, and then my students also. His activity career was tremendous, and his awards speak volumes. In 2004, receiving both the Area F Service Award and the CATA State Board Award. In 2009, Turbo received the CATA Presidential Award, followed in 2010, by the CATA State Service Award. Please give it up for Tiburcio Garcia. And then in 2012, Tiburcio Garcia received the California Activities Director of the Year Warren Schull Award. The, the beauty of CATA is that we're able to bring all the pieces together from throughout the nation. CATA is about sharing, CATA is about relationships, and CATA is about love. In 2008 in Reno, Turbo created the theme Field of Dreams for the CATA Conference, of course playing off his lifelong love of baseball. This conference will be remembered for many highlights, including his memorable race of the sausages. Having retired from teaching in 2015, Turbo's life is complete. He loves dearly his wife of 27 years, Margaret, better known as Joe, and his wonderful stepchildren, Leon J and Elizabeth, now joined by their spouses and, yes, three grandchildren. He indulges in his hobbies, of course, the Dodgers, and his presidential campaign button collection. He plans to continue to travel and hopefully visit every major league ballpark. After this amazing life, Turbo says his greatest lifetime accomplishment is his family. It is with great honor, 
we present the 2018 Jack Moore Award to Tiburcio Garcia.